let's jump in to number 10. Yeah, I mean, we, we get it. it. It's, you know, Doki Doki Panic reskin for North American markets, but that doesn't change the fact that it is our Super Mario Brothers 2. Dude, Super Mario Bros. 2 is so much different than the <laughs> than the first Mario Bros. Yeah, yeah. But it has a charm and the way it plays and the, there's four characters you can pick yeah. for every level. One thing that I love Mario Bros. 2, but one thing that pissed me off the first time I beat it was that it's not real. The game is a dream. So spoiler, spoiler alert. alert, if you haven't beat it yet, the game's not real. <laughs> but also it doesn't make sense because it's a video game. Like, why do I get upset by that? Uh, I, I don't it's know. not real no matter what. Yeah. But even though it wasn't born as a Super Mario game, I still consider it a Mario game. Oh, yeah. And you can just take that to the bank. It's, it's, it's so good. Game. Now let's move on to number nine. The Legend of Zelda. Yeah. The OG. One of the first games I um, I had growing up, which I was pretty limited on the games that I had. I think for the most part I had like five or six games and this was one of them. And uh, I remember my mom was really into this game and so I got to watch her play it a lot. And then as I got a little bit older and could kind of understand, my cousin and I played the hell out of this game and it was up there with one of the first like hard games that I ever beat. I've only dabbled with Legend of Zelda, but it's kind of overwhelming. They just throw you in and it's you're like, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? And what's yeah. really cool about Legend of Zelda is, isn't there like a second quest? So if you beat it, it's different the second yeah, playthrough? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So which there is, is some replayability there. Which is pretty cool. Awesome game. At Castlevania. Um, there, I, I think three is probably better than the original, but the original is on here for a freaking reason. The original is it's such a cool game. Yeah. Yes, there's frustrating parts yeah. with jumping and Medusa heads and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But what a staple! Konami at its finest. Yep. Castlevania, Simon Belmont. I mean, and who doesn't want to just go after Dracula? And you have a whip. You have a freaking whip. It's such a sweet game. All the hidden things and the yeah. bricks and stuff. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> Contra, number seven. Yes. So we were debating whether or not to put Super C or Contra, mm -hmm. but we went with the original just because it started it all. And yeah. it's a badass game. The first Contra. Yeah. Um, I remember the first time I played it, I could barely get through level one. Yep. It's hard. Dude. Yeah, it, it is. is hard. And now we're pretty damn good at it. Yeah. Uh, Super C, I think, is probably, uh, to your point, probably the better game, but there's something about the original Contra. There's just yep. something about it. It's amazing. And now... It's time for number six. Sunsoft, Batman. Nuff said, Michael Keaton is my Batman, and I rented the shit out of this game as a kid, and it's one of those games I'm I'm very sad to say I still have not Watch well, because it's hard. Dude, it is a hard game. The wall jump mechanic, all the different weapons or thick tools you have. Yeah. This game is so awesome. The soundtrack is incredible. It is. I love the art style, and I'm a huge fan of Batman, so it's like... Yeah, I've been so close to beating it. I think uh, not all that long ago. I was working on it really hard about six months ago, and I got to freaking Joker's pansy ass, and I got so pissed. And I'm like, I gotta get away from this game for a little bit. I just haven't went back. <laughs> but I love that game. Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Bros. The OG. So, one of the first video games, if not the first video game I ever played. So, I will always have huge nostalgia for mm -hmm. this. Probably, I play this game probably once a week. I play it all, I just try and speed run it, and most of the time, I die. So, then I just, <laughs> if I die once when I'm playing it, I'll just shut it off. <laughs> I just want to no death run yeah. it. I've done it a few times, but it's such a staple, man. It's it a beautiful, awesome game. It, it's a great game, and it, it, it's one of those games that's odd to me. Um, there's some people out there that kind of shit on the game, and it's an amazing game, uh, still to this day. Why I have people shit on it. Just people, people like to, you know, have hot takes. But Super Mario Brothers is badass, and it's number five on our list. <laughs> So speaking of hot takes, this game is so much better than Tetris, and that's Dr. Mario. I've said that a thousand times. I just love this game so much. I play this game almost daily. It's it's just a perfect game. Chill is one of the best video game songs ever Good. made. 
so good. I love puzzle games so much, and I just zone out when I play it. It's so simple. It's so easy to a certain extent, but I love Dr. Mario. I love him. And probably my favorite NES game of all time. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Yep. I, I just love it. It's the game that I'm the best at. Um of any game probably uh super mario bros is up there but uh punch out mike tyson's punch out uh, been... and if you've been following the channel for a while you know we've been talking about that i've been training i'm still training i'm getting better this it's a hard freaking I'll, I'll game i'll never forget first time i beat tyson i was like seven or eight years old my dad didn't believe me <laughs> oh bullshit come downstairs dad i'll freaking show you and i took me a couple times but i was able to replicate it but the first time i ever beat him i won by decision it doesn't happen Ooh. anymore now He's always going down in that second round for the most part. Love that game. Moving on to number two. This is a co-op fantastic game. And it's climbing the ranks that, for us. Oh, dude, it just keeps... <laughs> yeah, yeah. We talk about this game at nauseum on the channel, and that is Jackal. How many Konami games are on this list? Uh, a lot of them. Yeah, well, I think that's three. So far, three, yeah. Uh, this game is amazing. I love it so freaking much. It's just a tank, jeep, shooter. It's awesome. Yeah, the game really thrives co-op. I've always liked the game, but I have a newfound appreciation for it uh, with us playing it co-op. Uh, it's, it's great. I used to rent it all the time, but my brother was young enough that he couldn't really help me too much, so it was kind of like, oh, this game's cool. I like it. Uh, but when you play with someone else who knows it's what's going on, yeah, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome game. And number one, uh, let's just get it out there. I think everybody probably saw this one coming. Mario Bros. 3. Yep. Oh, so a huge fan of the Mario series. We have one and two and now three on our top ten list. They're yeah. amazing. Three is like the perfection yep. of Mario 1 and then a little bit of Mario 2 because it's way different. But the perfection of the Mario games, yeah. all the different power-ups, the overview map, it's a beautiful freaking game. It's it's perfection. And you it's, know, as, as much as you want to be cool and say, hey, that's not our number one game. We got to do something different. It, you just If you do, then you're you're probably just doing it to try to be cool. I mean, because yeah. it's, it's one it's, of the best games ever made. And it's still so hard. Yeah. We've beaten it a, multiple times. But it still is a struggle to beat. It's a tough game. Yeah, I think at one point, I want to say we were damn close to no death running it, or we did no death run it. I can't remember exactly. It was, uh, It's on the channel. World 8. Yeah. World 8 is, yeah. it gets freaking tough. And I just want to throw in an honorable mention real quick, because I'm shocked it didn't make our list, but we made our list really quick. And that's Gradius. Yeah. I don't know how it didn't make our list. Uh, it was good. Ninja my, Gaiden was close. Ninja Gaiden was up there, but Gradius... That's the game that made me fall in love with shmups. Yeah. It's it's a beautiful game, the music, and that's another Konami game. Yeah, yeah. hey. They were on fire back in the getting day. Getting a lot of love. We greatly appreciate you tuning in to this episode of Gaming Off the Grid Nibbles and Bits. If you like what you saw here, check out the full episode that this snippet came from in the description below. Much love, everybody. Cheers.